And in practice, tinkering can also be slow when you have a lot of data. It just might take a really long time for that optimization to finish and for your recipe to, to be cooked. Or when you're starting right off the bat with software geared at production, so something like TensorFlow. TensorFlow is not designed to be fun to use, incidentally, says so some chuckles from those who know. I keep saying, I dream of a day when we can have a laptop sticker that says, I love TensorFlow, not I tolerate TensorFlow because the damn thing works. But at scale, certain situations, nothing else will do the job, and so we have to be grateful that we have something that works. But it's not really geared at prototyping. It's geared to be the beast that works at incredible scale. So, here's the thing. That mindset around, I have to run all of my data through it all in one go every time is gonna slow you down a whole lot. What you should be doing is having a, a place that you can comfortably prototype quickly on small subsets of your data. So you don't have to wait for all the, the churning through your data set that takes all weekend just to uh, try out a thing and then you make some subtle setting adjustment and then it takes another few days for you to see how that does. Rather, take a little bit of your data and in an environment that's not geared at this serious production stuff, just try out some algorithms and see what seems to be worth investing the waiting time for the whole data set, right? So you inch towards the solution. You don't have to do it all in one go. You don't have to go right to TensorFlow. Use some other implementation that's really simple and quick to interact with on a small subset of your data. And that will tell you whether the approach itself seems promising. So even if you're doing neural networks stuff, you can use a smaller data set and some package that isn't very fussy on how you have to wrangle the inputs and do all the settings, just to see if that's even worth pursuing. Do that first, and then when you have to scale up, then you, then you know why you're putting the effort in. 